Welcome everyone, Teresa Sigmund here, and you are in the right place to learn to design, choose, or make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about rhinestoning glues so that you can make a decision on what's best for you when you're replacing missing stones, whether or not you're buying a economical store-bought dress and adding some stones to spruce it up for your showcase, or if you made your dress from scratch and are adding thousands of rhinestones to it, such as this dress. So let's go ahead and get started. A very easy, tidy, but super slow option for you is Hot Fix. Now they make a little gizmo specifically to glue on Hot Fix rhinestones, and Hot Fix rhinestones have the glue backing already on it. In truth, I don't recommend it if you are going to glue on any more than three, maybe four stones. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it is painfully slow. Oh my. I mean, in tr I, I had one and I hated it so much. I'm sure I gave it away because I could not find it in my box of stuff that I don't use very often. Um, I, in all honesty, I would not even use the hot fix for doing this minimal amount of rhinestoning. Heaven forbid you were gonna glue on thousands of rhinestones like this dress, you would die of old age trying to use the hot fix applicator and put this many stones on. So just don't go there. I give it two thumbs down for dance and skate costumes because we typically have too much bling to make that worthwhile. Another glue option for you that is also hot is a hot glue gun. And it's much faster than using the hot fix applicator. Now, with your hot glue guns, there's usually available a low temperature gun and a high temperature gun. Get the high temperature gun. The low temperature guns are so cool that they really only allow you to put one dot and one rhinestone down before the glue is too cool. So get the high temperature gun so that if you accidentally touch it, you'll blister your finger, <laughs> though I don't recommend doing that because it hurts. Um, but get the high temperature one so that you can lay down three or four glue dots at a time. And you also want to make sure that you choose a super strength glue stick. The glue sticks come in several strength varieties, usually. So get whichever one says it's got the strongest adhesive, because that's what we want, because our costumes take a lot of abuse. Lastly, on the hot glue gun, make sure you keep underneath it a scrap piece of paper or a scrap cloth, because the guns tend to dribble. They're like a baby. <laughs> they just drool. <laughs> So you want to make sure that you do not get all these little dingleberries of glue on your ironing board or your work service or worse yet on the actual dress itself. Number three option for you are that you could use white non-toxic glues. Gemtac has been around for decades, so I assume it works, though I in truth have never tried it. Chris Ann's Jewel Glow same thing with that. I've never tried it, but let's face it, Chris Ann is the world's leader in selling dance and skate costume related items. So I'm pretty sure they tested this glue and that it works well. Now the bright side of having these water-based non-toxic glues is that you don't have to worry about fumes with it, which is great. The downside of the water-based glues is that they tend to dry much slower than any of the hot applications which are instant drying or the epoxy glues which are pretty fast drying. So with the white glues if you choose to use that keep a little handy desktop fan about yay big around and that way after you just lay down your row of stones you can hold the fan on it or just set it on the table and have it blow directly on the dress and it'll dry the glue much faster so that you can keep working at a pretty good pace. I like to use E6000 and Goop, not because of the fumes, <laughs> which I'll talk about in a minute, but because they are easy to use and stay on the dress for years. It will quite often stay on the dress at, through multiple washings and dozens and dozens of wears, and it'll stay on for a good six to eight years before the rhinestone and the glue start losing cohesion and you, and you begin losing stone. Secondly about these that I really like is that it's very easy to use these. I put the glue in the syringe and it just flies like hotcakes. I can throw on lots of stones at once and you know, it still takes a long time to rhinestone a dress, but this is hands down the fastest application that I've found. 
The other great thing about this is that it kind of dries in the perfect amount of time. You could rotate your dress form in probably three to four minutes if you're in a really big hurry. Now, the downside to using these epoxy glues is that they are highly toxic. And here's my disclaimer. If you choose to use these, I am not responsible. Should you get a headache? Should you get a migraine? Or heaven forbid, if you get any kind of significant disease related to these fumes. On the back of the containers, there are warnings that talk about using it in a well-ventilated area. So I'll give you my tips. The first thing I do when I'm using these glues is I will have that same desktop fan sitting close by. And I have it blowing not directly on the dress because I don't want it to dry my glue too fast. And I don't want it blowing on my face because then I'm constantly having dry eyes and dry mouth. So I have the fan literally blowing right across me so that I'm not inhaling the fumes. The second thing I do is I'll keep a fan in the window also that draws the fumes out of the room. Because at the moment, when I'm rhinestoning in a small space like this, the fumes get really toxic. If you were rhinestoning in a very large space, it's not such a big issue. If it's summertime, oh, by all means, go outside and rhinestone there, because then you don't have the fumes and you get to hear the birds and the squirrels while you're working. And lastly, no matter what kind of glue you use, have a cleaning cloth <laughs> because you will need this, whether you're cleaning your syringe after you work on it, whether you're getting the glue off of your hands, always, always keep a scrap cloth lying around, very handy so that you can clean up the dribbles of whatever kind of glue you use. Now, if you found value in today's video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing, and rhinestoning friends Go to sewlikeapro.com to sign up to receive the blog if you haven't already done so. And please leave me a message below. Tell me what kind of glues you like to use and what success stories or nightmare stories you've had. Because by all means, we all need to know what not to use. So anyway, that is it. I am signing off for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.